okay now for articles 5 through 7 article 5 the Congress whenever two-thirds of both houses shall deem it necessary shall propose amendments to this Constitution or on the application of the legislatures of two-thirds of the several states shall call a convention for proposing amendments which in either case shall be valid to all intents and purposes as part of this Constitution when ratified by the legislatures of three-fourths of the several states or by conventions in three-fourths thereof as the one or the other mode of ratification may be proposed by the Congress provided that no amendment which may be made prior to the year 1808 shall in any manner affect the first and fourth clauses in the ninth section of the first article and that no state without its consent shall be deprived of its equal suffrage in the Senate. Okay. First and fourth, ninth section, first article. I'm going to go back and check that for a minute. Okay, just a minute. Ninth section. Oh. Okay, oh. Migration. Okay, so that's immigrant stuff. And that's, that's the first. What's the fourth? Two, three, four. Oh. No taxes. It's about taxing, too. Like, um... No tax should be laid unless in proportion to the Senate. Sis, okay, so it's money related. Now let's go back to where it was. Article 6. All debts contracted and engagements entered into before the adoption of this Constitution shall be as valid against the United States under this Constitution as under the Confederation. So basically that one, I just interrupting you here again. Like now when you declare bankruptcy, your previous debts don't matter. That is not what this is. This saying it doesn't matter. There is we still owe the money no matter what. This constitution and the laws of the United States which shall be made in pursuance thereof and all treaties made or which shall be made under the authority of the United States shall be the supreme law of the land and the judges let me fix my hair and the judges in every state shall be bound thereby anything in the Constitution or laws of any state to the contrary notwithstanding the senators and representatives before mentioned and the members of the several state legislatures and all executive and judicial officers both of the United States and of the several states shall be bound by oath or affirmation to support this constitution but no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. Yes, and that does not bother me. Just if, in case you're wondering. Yes, I am Christian, but I also think, yeah. You don't, a, a theocracy does not bode well. No. That's because it's tend to be a fundamentalist theocracy, which is just bad. And Article 7. The ratification of the conventions of nine states shall be sufficient for the establishment of this constitution between the states so ratifying the same. The word the being interlined between the seventh and eighth lines of the first page 
the word 30 being partly written on an erasure in the 15th line of the first page the words is tried being interlined between the 32nd and 33rd lines of the first page of the first word and the word the being interlined between the 43rd and 44th lines of the second page a test William Jackson secretary done in the done in convention by the unanimous consent of the states present the 17th day of September in the year of our Lord 1787 and of the independence of the United States of America, the 12th, in witness whereof we have hereto unscribed our names. And then they list, um, let's see, George Washington is president and deputy from Virginia. And it lists the representatives from each state. Delaware is, it just says, Gia Red, I don't know what that was. Gunning Bedford, June. John Dickinson, Richard Bassett, Jacob Broom. This is, might be some spelling errors, I don't know. For, that was Delaware. Maryland is James McHenry, Dan of St. Thomas Jennifer. I don't know, it just says St. then T H O S, period. I'm going to say Thomas, I don't know for sure. Dan. Daniel Carroll. Yes. Virginia is John Blair and James Madison Jr. North Carolina is William Blount, Richard Dobbs Spate, Hugh Williamson. South Carolina is Jay Rutledge, Charles Coatsworth. I'm just Charles oh Charles Coatsworth Pickney. Charles Pickney, okay, glad I checked to see that it looked like Pickney was just one thing, but it's his whole name. Did I get any, oh no, the, just a minute, the computer's having a fit again, there it goes. Okay, and Pierce Butler. Georgia is William Few and Abraham Baldwin. New Hampshire is John Langdon and... Nicholas Gilman, Massachusetts is Nathaniel Gorman, Gorham, whatever. Rufus King, Connecticut is William Samuel Johnson and Roger Sherman, New York is Alexander Hamilton, you guys, I hope you guys know that name, New Jersey is William Livingston, David Brearley, William Patterson, Jonah Dayton, and then we, last one's Pennsylvania, which is Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Mifflin, Robert Morris, this is Geo, what was turn? I have no idea what Geo period stands for. I should know it yet. Geo Clymer, Thomas Fitzsimmons, Jared Ingersoll, James Wilson, and Goov Morris. And that's that. But it's still freaking out, so I have to wait there. Now let me stop this one, and then I will do the Bill of Rights.